The KMG Move It rides were one of the most versatile rides ever made, spinning riders on three axes of movement. The Move It would also come in three sizes, and all three versions would open in the British Isles in various parks, and traveled by showmen across the UK and Ireland. The first version was the most famous, the Move It 32 in 1996. Traveling on three trailers this massive machine could be built up in just three hours with two people. The three trailers would join up together to make up the base, with the back flash and platform folding out. Once built up the Move It 32, took up 62 feet by 52 feet, and when at action it was 50 feet high. The Move It 32 caused a storm when it first opened in the Netherlands in 1996, but it would remain the only Move It 32 built. The back flash wrapped around the back half of the machine, it was adorned with thousands of lights, while the rotating platform was highlighted in blue neon, highlighting the drifting smoke when it was used. James Cox would travel the ride extensively across the British Isles in his time, when he acquired the ride in November 2002, opening at some of the biggest fairs, including the three big fairs in Nottingham Regular, at Nottingham Bonfire Fair, Nottingham Riverside Festival, and Nottingham Goose Fair. Other fairs included the Mid-Lent Fairs at Stamford and Grantham, Southampton Easter Fair, Kirkcaldy Links Market, Ilkeston Charter Fair, Loughborough, Boston, and Nutsford May Fairs, Hall, and Newcastle Hoppings, to name a few. In the winter of 2005, the move its famous backflash was repainted by Derek Charles Slater, while the lighting would be updated to new colors, making move it look brighter than ever for the 2006 season. The move it would be sold on in 2008, to Harry Ayres, who for a short time traveled the ride, before he exported it to France. The Move It 32 is still a head-turner now, still proving popular in Belgium, with current owner Tommy Van Herek, who continues to improve the ride with modern pixel lighting on the splats, and color-changing SMD LED lighting. With the Move It 32 being such a big machine, it was not attractive to many showmen. Fortunately KMG had already thought of this, and had been developing the Move It 2, which many would call the Move It 18. The Move It 18 would be a much smaller machine than the Move It 32. Designed to be on one trailer that could be set up very quickly. The Move It 2 seated 18 riders, hence the later name Move It 18, and took up 45 by 52 feet of space, and was 45 feet high. Unlike the larger Move It 24 and 32 models, the platform does not rotate on the Move It 18, instead the tower that the Move It gondola, is mounted on an offset arm from the center, to make the machine rotate. The seating arrangement was also different to the Move It 24 and 32. The Move at 18 features 9 seats facing 9 seats on the other side, in an oval formation. The Move at 2 was a decent seller for KMG in its early years, with around 10 examples listed on some ride lists. There were also some very different Move at 18s, including the fantastically themed Xenox, the Move at Aqua, with water fountains, and out of space, a Move at 18 in the dark. Two Move at 18s would find their way to the British Isles. The first was originally built in 1997 for Belgium showman Dodemont and Delforge. This move it would be imported by English showman, Victor Gray in April 2002. He would travel it for four seasons opening at Hull Fair, Hinkley Tin Hat Fair, and Nottingham Goose Fair, where the bigger move at 32 was also open at the same time. Victor Gray would sell the machine at the end of the 2005 season to Dutch showman van der Weert. The second went to Cullens of Ireland. Built for Austrian showman Paul Ordermat in 1997. The move it was imported from Austria in February 2003, this move it didn't feature a backflash, but was adorned with two American flag splats on the front. Cullens would travel the move it for just two seasons, in 2003 and 2004, before selling the ride to Damien Bateman of Scotland in 2005. In Damien Bateman's ownership, the move it would travel for just two seasons around Scotland, including two visits to Kirkcaldy Links Market in 2005 and 2006. The ride would get sold on to Romania at the end of the 2006 season. The final version was the Move It 24. This, the third version of the Move It, was released in 1997. The Move It 24 seated 24 riders in the same formation as the KMG Afterburner, and it proved a popular seller from the start. The first Move It 24 was for an American showman, who opened it that autumn, while the second, was for Yan de Conning and Gary Gore, who ordered theirs in November 1997 to be built in time for the following season. Over the winter months, KMG would receive another half a dozen orders mainly from North America. The demand was so great, that KMG would subcontract out the Move It 24 to Tivoli Enterprises, now known as Tivoli Rides UK, in England, who they already had a partnership with KMG over the Remix ride, in which KMG licensed their gondolas for use on the machine. Tivoli, would mainly deal with the British and American orders for the Move It 24, while KMG, 
would do the European orders. Gore and De Conning would see their move at 24 ship just in time for its planned Easter opening, at Stanley Park in Liverpool, before heading to Kirkcaldy Lynx Market in Scotland. It would also take up a position outside the Sandcastle in Blackpool for the Illuminations, where the ride proved very popular. Gore and De Conning would sell the move it on to Scott Manning in 2001, who would travel it for a season around London before selling it on to Albert Jones, who opened the ride at his Pleasure Beach Amusement Park, in Great Yarmouth for the 2002 season. In 2006 showman Elliot Bibby would buy the machine and travel it for a few years, before selling on to Mark Thurston Jr. in 2010. Mark Thurston not only gave the move it a new, darker, edgier color scheme, but also a new name, Scream. He would mainly travel the ride around the eastern counties, before selling the ride in September 2018, for a KMG freakout. The second move at 24 to open in the British Isles was for Scottish showman Henry Evans, who had just sold his remix to the United States. His stylish move it was inspired by the German remix, Techno Power. Calling his ride Techno Power, this move it featured custom lighting in purple, yellow and blue cap colors, as well pink and blue neon on the underside of the arms, making the machine look striking at night. The Techno Power would make it just in time for Nottingham Goose Fair, in October of 2001. Time was so tight, that Gary Evans had his sizzler parked by the gate, just in case he needed to cover the position. Fortunately with just a day until the opening of Nottingham Goose Fair, the Techno Power pulled onto the ground and was built up. While the backflash would not be finished off until over the winter, the Techno Power traveled the Knots and Derby area starting with Nottingham first, before moving on to Mansfield, Bolsover, Belper, and back to Mansfield for the Bonfire Fair. The following year, Henry Evans would travel the ride in his native Scotland for much of the year, opening at Kirkcaldy Lynx Market, Nairn Highland Games and Urban Merrymass to name a few. Henry Evans would sell the Techno Power on to Pat Fox, who would travel the ride around Ireland, before he exported the ride to Romania in 2010. The next move it to open in the British Isles, was for Joseph Manning of the London section, in the summer of 2003. His machine was originally built in 1999 for an American showman, before he imported the ride. Joseph Manning would travel the move it for a couple of years, before selling the ride on to Edward Studd in Wales in 2007, after which it would be exported to Brazil in 2009, where it would open at the Mirabilandia Amusement Park. While there are no move it's traveling around the British Isles now, there is one example that remains. In 2000 Adventure Island of South End on Sea would open a move at 24. The Seafront Amusement Park has had several rides from Tivoli, including a Tristar, Orbiter and more recently a Remix 2. Finished off in a green and gold color scheme, the ride would operate until 2020. In 2021 it was removed from the park to be refurbished by Tivoli, and is hoped will return to the park in the near future. In 2018, KMG would relaunch the Move It series, with Move It 24 2.0 and Move It 32 2.0. So far three Move It 24s have been sold, with Robotics to Germany in 2020, Grasshopper to Bakken Amusement Park in Denmark in 2021, and Kissel Entertainment in the USA, have ordered one to be delivered for the 2026 season. For KMG, the Move It series of rides would help them step up into the world-renowned company they are today. Constantly innovating, and designing new rides, the Move It seats would be used as the basis for their next big hit, the Afterburner, which would take the fairground and amusement industry by storm in the late 1990s and beyond. The Fun Fair Rides video channel features hundreds of videos of fairground rides from the past 20 years. You can subscribe for free, and stay updated for the latest videos. We thank you, for watching this Fun Fair Rides video.